Usually, people are not really aware of coats, but if you look at the products that we help make, we are touching most of humanity and we form the fabric of life. Wherever you are in the world, and whatever you're doing, shopping, working, driving, you're probably connected in some way to a Coates product without even realizing it. Because Coates is the world's leading industrial thread and yarns manufacturer, and there's barely a sector it doesn't touch. Founded in Paisley in Scotland over 250 years ago, it employs more than 19,000 people today in over 60 countries across six continents. It turns over one and a half billion dollars a year. But despite this remarkable heritage, Coates is in the midst of change. Coates was formed during the first industrial revolution. That's when basically machines were invented. We are now in the fourth industrial revolution, which is all about uh, data mining, data science, artificial intelligence, connected machines. So for us, it's really about leveraging the latest technologies and trying to use that within our core competencies around manufacturing and material handling. In the next few years, Coates will also become a provider of services and solutions to help solve the problems its customers, brands, retailers and manufacturers face every day. They're looking for speed, productivity, innovation, quality, responsibility and sustainability. So this is what we see with our customers. What it means for us is that we have to add value for them in those areas. So the fact that we are a company of 250 years of making thread is fine and that's our core and we're very good at it. But that by itself will not shift the needle for the customers. In order to shift this needle, Coates is going digital. We've used a lot of digital tools and systems to allow them to interact directly with us. So something that was previously taking seven days is now taking two. The fact that in the last two years Coates has acquired four businesses, two of them in the software solutions space, demonstrates its commitment to diversify for the benefit of its customers. We will not buy a company simply for market access. We will buy a company because it has a unique IP, intellectual property. It has unique technologies that we don't have. And it allows us to solve complex customer problems with these. We sold products for 250 years, services we haven't done before, um, and now we're doing that. So it's also products and services at attractive gross margins. So those sales will be around $10 million this year um, in terms of the services. It was nothing a couple of years ago, so some good growth on that side. In 2017, with market cap hitting a billion pounds, Coates entered the FTSE 250. The main advantages are around access to capital. So we've got a blue chip quality uh, investor, investor base, and that really helps us in terms of our funding options uh, going forward. Coates operates three separate businesses, Apparel and footwear accounts for 70% of revenue, while the craft sector in North America, operating under the Coates & Clark brand name, accounts for 10%. A third business, and the fastest growing, is performance materials. It's really applying more intelligence and more smartness into products that help our customers' products become a lot more productive going, you know, going forward. So, just to give an example, we are looking at conductive yarns. You must have heard the thing about wearable technologies. So how can you make a fabric talk? How can you make a fabric connect to other devices? Those are all very interesting uh, future technologies that are, that are coming down the pike and we hope to be playing a big part in that area. With this in mind, the acquisition in 2016 of Spanish textile manufacturer Gotex adds a vital puzzle piece to the Coates jigsaw. Gotex uses the latest technology to improve the properties of yarns, fibres and fabrics. The transformation of Coates is well underway, one that will see the business move from an industrial heritage to a digital one and thereby securing its success for another two and a half centuries and beyond.